Hello, this is Mr. Nolan, uh, and uh, in the previous video, uh, I kind of walked you through the first five indexes that we uh, could possibly look at in order to calculate for our river project. Uh, what I want to show you now in this video, I just want to talk to you about one of them. It's the Shannon Minor Diversity Index. The Shannon Minor Diversity Index is almost magic. It's a really, really cool calculation. It's, it's mathematically simple, but it's a little bit onerous to put together. I'll show you a link in this video uh, where you can go to a website um, that will kind of show you how to do this shorthand. But uh, what this calculation does is it shows us how diverse the ecosystem is. And if an ecosystem is diverse, that is a good thing. That means it's more stable. There's more organisms out there. There's more species. Um, you know, if, maybe if we lose one, then there are other species that can kind of make up for it. So you want a diverse ecosystem that's going to be better, all things considered, that's going to be better than uh, an ecosystem which is not diverse. So the thing about the Shannon Minor Diversity Index is that we can't use these feeding groups that we used for the other indexes. Um, these won't work. So instead, we actually have to use data from individual species, and we have to set up a table. Now, in this day, this e even if we want to use the um, the website that I'm going to show you, we still have to set up a table at least to do the f to write out the species and their number, um, just to keep that organized, and uh, and then we can uh, go from there. So. Uh, Here's our numbers of some organisms. Now, these are made-up numbers. These aren't from a certain year or anything. These are just kind of made-up numbers. And we are going to pretend that we found 23 non-biting midges, 27 viviparid snails, and then 12 water boatmen. Now, which species they are doesn't really matter, as long as you recognize each one's a different species, and here's the numbers for them. So this is how we need to set up this table, uh, is with the species, uh, a, a, co a column for number, and then four more columns after it. And I'll talk about what each of these columns means. So in this table, what these things mean, here's our species, this little pi means the percent as a decimal. That's what this pi means. So we're actually going to have to calculate the percent as a decimal and then do the rest of this table. So let's talk about that first. So we have to take all of our organisms and find what are they as decimals. Now in order to do that, we need to figure out what the total is. You can't calculate a percent without the total. So the total here, 23 and 27 and 12, is 62. So that's my total number of organisms. So I need to know that in order to calculate any of the rest of this. I need to get the total number of organisms. And now PI is just the, the, the percent decimal. So here's what we mean. The percent decimal, in this case, is going to be 23 divided by 62. 23 divided by 62 is going to give us a number. That decimal, although it's not a percent, it is a decimal that means something. So that decimal is 0 0.371, if we round it to the nearest thousand. So that's what our decimal is right there, and we can do that for the other ones. 27 divided by 62 is going to give us 0 0.435. And finally, 12 divided by 62 is going to give us 0 0.19, uh, let's round that to 4. So this is the first step in the Shannon Minor Diversity Index, is just to calculate um, what are the percent decimals of each of these. And if we do it right, these should add up to 1. And you'll notice that they actually do. They add up to 1.000. So that's the first step, is to just find the species, the number of each. Based on the total, what is the percent decimal of each one? We want around to the thousands. So this is where we run into kind of a weird spot. This ln is a function. It's called natural log. The reason why it's ln is because it was invented by, by a French person, and in uh, French, the um, the verb comes or the noun comes first, and then the adjective comes after. So this is the logarithma naturel. Uh, so ln. That's why it's ln instead of L nl. But it's natural log, and it's a function. You should find it either on a scientific calculator or on your phone. Now. <laughs> A good way to test whether or not you're using it properly is to determine the natural log of 0 0.5. So the way that you would set this up is like this. You would say ln natural log of 0 0.5 equals, and then you would actually have to do that. So in my calculator, what it gives me is negative 0 0.693. Now this number doesn't really mean anything. All that this number is is a test to figure out whether or not you're doing it right. If you do this 
cal calculation properly, you should find that the natural log of 0.5 is negative 0.693. Um, now, don't worry about too much what that means. This number doesn't mean anything at all. Um, it's just a test. But what we need to be able to do is to use natural log in order to apply it to these other numbers. And we're, it's going to spit out a number at the end of this table. That number is going to tell us how diverse our ecosystem is um, on a scale from basically 0 to around 3. Uh, the higher the number is, the better off that is. So in order for this to work, I have to take the natural log of 0.371, put that here. Find the natural log of 0.435, put that here. Find the natural log of 0.194, and put that here. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of pause the video and fill those in so you can see what would it look like for each of those if I used the natural log for that number. Okay, so what I did was for each of these numbers, I took 0.371, found the natural log of that number, and here's what I get. These give us these really weird, ugly decimals. Uh, so negative 0.0, or I'm sorry, negative 0 0.992, negative 0 0.832, and negative 1.640. And these are all rounded to the nearest thousandth. Um, once we've done that, this is the part that kind of loses people sometimes. We're going to multiply these two numbers together in order to get this one. So the way that we can remember how to do that is to just take those symbols. Just put times that equals. So I'm going to do that for each one. I'm just going to multiply this number by that number. And it's going to get me this number. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and we'll do that. So there we go. I just multiplied 0 0.371 times negative 0 0.992, and I got that number. I did the same thing all the way over. I just multiplied that by that, and I got this number. So now this column is filled up. This is the easy part. I just have to find their opposites. So if I have negative 0 0.368, I'm just going to turn that into positives over here. And then I'm going to add them up, and that total is going to be my Shannon Weiner Diversity Index. So I'll add those up, and we'll talk about what that number is supposed to mean. Okay, success. So what I did was I turned all these into positives, and then I added them up, and I ended up with just a little bit over 1. So I got 1.048. Now the way that the Shannon Weiner Diversity Index works is that if it's less than 1.5, that's a very low diversity. If it's between 1.5 and 2.5, that's sort of a medium diversity. And if it's greater than 2.5, then that's a high diversity. So since I'm sitting at 1.048, that's less than this 1.5, so pretty low diversity. So this is the idea behind how to calculate a Shannon Minor Diversity Index. It's not as difficult as it looks, but let me show you that uh, the link to this website, and that way you can kind of see um, how you can do this a little bit easier. So let me show you that. Okay, so this is that website. I'll also send this to you and make this available. It's going to save you a lot of time because instead of having to set up this whole big complicated table, we just take our numbers, plug them in, and I'll show you which one we want to look at that gives us our biodiversity, Shannon Weiner. So we still have to know these numbers, 23, 27, and 12, but I'll show you how to use this website. When you go to this website, it's going to give you, show you this screen. It's going to ask for the number of species in the sample. Well, we know that that number is three, one, two, three species. So that's what I'm going to tell it. I'm going to say three, submit. Now it's going to ask for what these things are. Um, I don't think you really have to type in the names, but the numbers are what you have to type in. So uh, if I type in 23, 27, and 12, 23, 27, and 12, let's see what happens. Uh, let's, let's take the decimal accuracy to... Um, uh, let's take that to three digits. Uh, that way it will give us um, out to the thousandths. So when I do this, it's going to give me this, this really sort of difficult, complicated uh, screen. The one that we're going to look for is we're going to find Shannon Index, and we're going to look for the second one that it gives us, 1.05. Let's see how that compared to the one previously. I think that's pretty darn close. I think it was 1.048 or something like that. So this middle one, this middle Shannon index right there is the one that we would look for if we were going to use this uh, calculator in order to calculate the Shannon Minor Diversity Index. You see how painless that was? I just went ahead and punched in my numbers and it gave me uh, the number right there. So this is really useful. It's going to save you a lot of time. So I hope that now you don't feel very scared about the Shannon Minor Diversity Index. It's a really excellent 
uh, piece of work to use, and it tells you what the diversity of your ecosystem is.